Hey everyone, Brian from Workshop Addict and today let's take a look at some of the DeWalt batteries including their standard 20 volt max and their new flex volt battery line. Now with that said, we want to go through and maybe talk about how they come up with the different voltages, also how they configure the battery packs, what's going to be a little more robust per se and what's going to work better in outdoor power equipment along with what's going to work better in the construction field. Now we have a line of batteries in front of us that starts with a DeWalt 2 amp hour battery that's 20 volt max, a 5 amp hour battery that is 20 volt max, their flex volt battery that is a 6 amp hour battery uh, 20 or 60 volt and then behind it the large one which is another flex volt 9 amp hour battery that's 20 or 60 volt. Now to start in front there is one layer in this 2 amp hour battery of cells that equals 20 volts and we're not going to go into the 18 or 20 volt thing it's 20 volt max that's in front of it one row of cells. If we pick up the 5 amp hour battery and you compare these two you can see the 5 amp hour battery is larger. Well, there's two rows of batteries in the 5 amp hour cell, so technically this could be wired as a 40 volt battery, but it's wired as a 20 volt battery just so you can stack the two layers of 2.5 amp hour batteries to give you a better runtime. And that's what they did here in the flex volt battery. Instead of two layers, they have three layers of 2 amp hour batteries that you can use either as a 6 amp hour battery in 20 volts or a 2 amp hour battery in 60 volts. Now that might sound confusing, but you can think of it in this way. This battery holds enough cells to make 40 volts. Now this is DeWalt's 40 volt battery. Significant size difference. But this battery in 40 volts is only 2.5 amps or 2.5 amp hours. This one is 7.5 amp hours, so there's three of these stacked inside this battery cell. Same when you kind of go up into the larger flex volt battery, you have a nine amp hour battery here. So there's three layers of three amp hour cells that will equal 60 volts wired together, or you can use the three separate layers and make it 20 volts. It's significantly larger again than the six amp hour battery, and that's what's going to make this work well in some of the construction tools like the miter saw, the table saw, or even the circular saw where the size of the battery is not going to get in the way. This is kind of getting borderline, in my opinion, of how large of a battery do you really want to carry on some of your tools. We have an impact wrench here that has the 6 amp hour on it, but if we were to pick up our 3 quarter drive and drop the 9 amp hour on it, we end up with a much larger tool that is very heavy. While that might work, it just doesn't seem overly practical. Now you can see where they're gearing up to go with this battery. It's going to come out in some outdoor power equipment. The larger battery is going to allow this to really run longer. It's going to give it the same power, but people are saying, hey, 60 volt um, DeWalt outdoor power equipment, it's going to be great still. This 40 volt battery has a lot more cells than this 60 volt battery does. So long term, DeWalt's still going to be kicking the commercial side saying, hey, 40 volts is where we're at for commercial. I'm not saying that the flex volt stuff isn't going to rock, but know that DeWalt's commercial line is currently the 40 volt line and this stuff is still going to come out and be good just probably not as good or not as um, efficient in runtime as you might see with the much larger and heavier 40 volt battery. I really like what DeWalt's doing here. They've confused a lot of people with some of the marketing um, and even some of how it goes together. The voltage seems to get in the way. You really need to look at what the amp hours is. And if you really want to get more complicated in it, just look at watt hours or watt output. That will tell you exactly what this battery is capable of. So we're going to use these six and nine amp hour batteries, do a little more comparison for you. Uh, subscribe to our channel. We'll continue to get this information out to you. Give us a like. Follow us on social media. You'll see a lot of this out there. You can ask us questions. We'll interact with you. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day.